Boys Club is described as a no bro zone for crypto. I sat down with one of the female founders to get the scoop on this massively growing organization and to find out why crypto is like veganism. Take a look. Boys Club is a social club and soon to be DAO. Um, and we're onboarding the next 1 million women and non-binary individuals into crypto and Web3. That is so exciting um, because I've only been in the crypto space for a couple of years now, but um, one of the things I do notice is that it's very bro heavy. <laughs> and so to see a club that's basically for women um, to get more involved, it was like really a great idea. How did you guys come up with it? You know, how did it start? Just give us the whole story. Yeah, so um, the two co-founders, Dina and Natasha, um, were basically just going to have a very casual, chill wine night um, and bring together a group of their friends um, and teach them about crypto. Um, there ended up being a lot of demand for that and they just posted something on Twitter. Initially, we're going to beta test the idea of having 12 women um, gather for a dinner and just talk about crypto. It doesn't matter whether you're coming in as an expert or a total newbie. Um, after they posted this on Twitter and made a link to tickets, it actually sold out that day um, wow. and amassed a wait list um, up until the day of the event. So the first event was like six years up in women um, and they ended up getting um, a group of panelists together, did a Q&A um, and essentially had this very social um, gathering um, where women could text in their questions about crypto um, and the panelists would answer. Um, but it was also a place for women to um, meet other women who are breaking into the space or curious about it. One of the great things that you guys do is you explain crypto on a level that's easier for women, for, I mean, for people outside the mainstream, like tech industry or in finance, <clears throat> do it in such a creative way. One of the things I love are, are your videos where you explain, you know, different terms in crypto, but you use things like the Kardashians <laughs> to kind of illustrate it. They're sort of like a DAO because even though Courtney has Poosh and Kim has Skims, they're all working together to advance the larger Kardashian brand. We want to make all of our content really accessible and fun um, because when you're first breaking into crypto, no matter who you are or what level you're at, um, it can be a really intimidating space and there's just so much information and so much you don't know. So it's really easy to get discouraged, um, but it's definitely part of our approach. We definitely want to bring fun into crypto and um, make it really accessible to anyone um, and also just integrate this playful pop culture approach because um, you're right it can be so um, technical and technically driven um, and I think sometimes that vocabulary to start out with is, is a little intimidating. You guys are all like really young really cute <laughs> and I'm just always curious how did you personally get into crypto? Yeah, um, the huge unlock moment for me was actually when I started looking into blockchain technology itself. Um, so the underlying infrastructure that supports um, crypto and crypto tokens. Yes. Um, and it was the potential to not only re reinvent and reimagine financial infrastructure, um, but you know the the kind of possibility for blockchain technology itself to um, do things like make supply chains more efficient, make um, data sharing across hospitals for patients more efficient, um, enhance accountability and responsibility. Um, so that was the sort of the unlock moment for me. And I think it's really interesting too, because talking to so many women breaking into that, into the space, there's so many different um, points of interest. And I almost compare it to like veganism. Um, in, in the vegan community, there's a lot of different strategies, right? Like some, um, when trying to get other people into it, take a health approach. Some take an environmental approach. Right. Some take a, an ethical approach. And I think crypto is really similar, right? It's so huge. There's so many different things going on and so many different points of access for different people. So that's also something that we're really aware of at Boys Club and really focused on is like, what got me interested in crypto might not be what gets my sister or my friend interested in crypto. Right. I have to ask, Boys Club, how come you guys named it Boys Club? Um, great question. Once again, we're just uh, 
a really hilarious team, if I, <laughs> if I do say so myself. Um, but yeah, we just wanted to kind of play around with it, make it fun, um, make it a little witty, um, tongue in cheek. Yeah. yeah, really speaks to the need um, of what we're bringing to the table. Um, you know, Boys Club begins with the recognition that crypto and blockchain are reimagining how society functions at a base level. Um, and, um, you know, the disruptive nature of blockchain technology is still vastly underappreciated by the general public. Yeah. And the value of that disruptive nature is only beginning to be captured and will only accelerate with time. Um, but all that said, the decentralized future um, that's preached so widely today still looks like a lot like the past. Um, a recent study by Gemini actually um, reported that 74% of crypto holders are men and 71% are white. Um, so we so we have an urgent need to bring new people into this space if we want to avoid copy pasting the existing power structures in our society today onto um, the new frontier that this infrastructure and technology brings about. Where can people find Boys Club if they want to check you guys out, or if they want to join? What do we do? Yeah, cool. Um, so we have a website. It's boysclub.vip. We're also on Twitter. Um, Boys Club Crypto, I think I want to say. Um, and we're on Instagram, um, Boys Club .eth. Okay, great. Parker, thank you so much for explaining all the things you have coming up. I'm so excited for you guys and I'm so glad you got to talk to us. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Thank you.